this video, I'm going to explain how I learned to do this. And why that's the only time you'll ever see me do it. Years ago, I made a new solo theatre show. It was called Matt Ricardo vs. The World, and the making of that show required me to spend a year or so learning a whole bunch of new skills and tricks. I learned how to pick locks, throw knives, do tricks with dice, uh, escape from handcuffs while juggling three balls, and lots of other completely useless but hopefully entertaining stuff. And one of the things I thought might be fun to learn was the quick draw. I'm always attracted to things that are essentially circus tricks that have ended up in places that are not circuses. And what they call Western Revolver Exhibition Shooting with all of its fancy draws and spinning, that certainly seemed pretty circusy to me. So I bought a blank firing Colt single action revolver and a Mexican quick draw rig and I got to work. Now I like to think I'm pretty good at learning things, but just like anybody else, some stuff seeps into my old brain faster and easier than other stuff. For example, for the same show I had to learn accurate knife throwing, and I kind of learned it, but I never really felt that I mastered it, I never felt totally comfortable with it. But the tricks with the gun, I clicked with them immediately. I spent a few months perfecting all the fancy draws and spins, and then I got to work on the quick draw itself. There are four elements to a quick draw. You have to clear the gun from the holster, aim it, cock it, and... It's a combination of tiny precise movements that all have to flow together and happen in less than a second. As I kept practicing, I also did my homework. I learned about people like Bob Munden, roundly agreed to be the fastest with a gun ever. He could pull his gun, shoot two balloons six feet apart faster than you can blink. I discovered that there were quick draw smartphone apps designed to train you to get faster. So I used one and I started getting faster. I got to the point where I could draw my gun, cock it, aim it and fire it in less than half a second. I was getting good at this and I was getting excited about putting it in the new show. And then one night after a gig, I was talking to an American friend. She was from Texas, so she'd grown up around guns. She asked if she could see the gun that I was using and the one I had with me was a dummy. It couldn't even fire blanks, but it was useful for practicing the moves. So I picked it up and as I gave it to her, just without thinking, I pointed it at her and she flinched. And that's when my feelings about this routine completely changed. See, for me, growing up in England, guns were just a fun movie prop, something that cowboys and secret agents had. Even though we knew they were real things, all of our exposure to them was through the unreal, through fiction, entertainment. But for her, and for a lot of other people, they are very real, they're a tool for violence. The gun that I was using was the Colt Army Single Action Revolver, which carried the deeply unpleasant nickname of the Peacemaker. It was first made in the 1870s and used in battles with Native Americans to horrific effect. It wasn't a fun movie prop, it was ugly, violent history. I kept practicing, but the feeling stayed with me. The more I tried to write the script that would surround the routine, the more I realised that the only way I could do that would be to ignore the core of what I was doing, which was silly showing off with something that was made to kill people of colour. The prop I was holding in my hand now felt like something else completely. It was as if all those cool tricks you could do with it were just there to distract you from what the purpose of the object actually was. It didn't take long before I realised that I didn't want to be somebody on stage holding a gun, even a fake one, without dealing with the full weight of what that means. So I cut it from the show and I put it in the bottom of one of the trunks of old props I have in my house and I didn't get it out until today to make this video and when I'm done doing this, it's going right back in the trunk. It taught me that when you're making something, it's easy to get carried away with the novelty, with the excitement of the new, but you've got to try and keep some perspective and see it from all sides. 
And it's especially important to see things from the perspective of people who might be in your audience because they have different lives to you and they will see things differently. That's a good rule for the arts and it's a good rule for life too. So I guess I'll always be the fastest gunslinger that never draws his gun. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and share this video with anyone that you think might find it interesting. And a big thanks to everyone that signed up to my Patreon. You help make videos like this possible, and it really means a lot. And if you're interested in my Patreon, there's a link to it below this video. Thanks again, I'll see you next time.